Yeah. We have uh, Calvin Gastelum versus every Mexican restaurant in history. It's the biggest <laughs> battle there's been since the UFC has come to life, dude. Okay, but we yeah. have Gastelum versus D Rod, dude. What is going on here? Yeah. So Let me look at this picture. Look at so this the picture. Wayans. Yeah. Look at the gut on Calvin Gastelum. This this fight was at 170. Kelvin's returned to 170 after being forced to fight at 185 for missing weight at 170 too many times. Now they're letting him back at 170. Takes on D-Rod. D-Rod says in an interview on Thursday, the day before Wayne's, yeah, I guess Kelvin's having a hard time with the weight weight cut, so we're going to uh we're going to fight at 185, which is just so disrespectful, dude. To do it the day before, it's like how how early did you know that you weren't going to make oh. weight? He knew for a while, bro. But yeah, the thing sure. is that if he waits till the day before, D Rod is already in the process of cutting weight. He's already struggling. And look, Calvin. This is a knew, month ago. Yeah, yeah. Go, go back to the other picture, Rich. Uh, there we did. Calvin Gaslam on his YouTube page. By the way, shout out. We have more subscribers than Calvin Gaslam. Hey, that's actually uh, that's pretty fantastic. sick. That's fantastic. <laughs> so thank you, everybody that has subscribed. Tell your friends, tell your mamas, tell your papas. But yes. Yeah. So over here, a month. Prior to the fight, we have Calvin Gaslam testing out tacos, trying out tacos, doing taste tests. What are we doing? Dude, he names the video Missing Weight with Kelvin Gaslam. That's crazy. The tacos did look pretty fucking good, I'll be honest. Um, Dude, uh, I was looking at that actually, and uh, the ones there by his left hand, like I don't know if that's in a, a thicker Asada cut or what it is, mm -hmm. but those look amazing. Dude, yeah, the, the video actually, the tacos do look good um yeah yeah yeah. Very but good. that so being said that. yeah good job guys um but <laughs> the fact that he put a video out and named it's a food show and he's naming it missing weight and then he misses weight the next fight is crazy dude and dana was pissed about it he was like dude that's just unacceptable um what do you yeah think but about but that's not what the message is no when you miss no. weight twice before yeah. in this division if I'm Dana and I'm trying to send a message, he comes in missing weight. I say, hey, we're getting a replacement fight. We're going to have a newcomer come in to fill in for Calvin Gaslam. Calvin Gaslam has been cut on the spot. The problem is it's the day before. They can't really fill in somebody. It's happened before. You don't. You, you mean yeah, to tell true. me there's not some guy out on Saudi the regional Arabia. scene? They're in Who Saudi cares? Arabia, dude. Who are they going to call? Who cares, dude? dude? Turkey. Who he cares? Comes he comes in there with I, his fucking... Anybody. Anybody, dude. <laughs> But send out the message. Send out oh, the message. Dude. Yeah. Ghost, I remember this. Remember when Kelvin couldn't run a 5K on tough in the coach's challenge against Whitaker? Oh, my God, dude. So funny, dude. This yeah, is that was this is out so of funny. Yeah, got to go, enough? but I'll watch the rest of it. Hey, shout out, Ghost. Shout out, Ghost. Yeah. I don't know, dude. They already banned him from the weight class once. <laughs> Can't scale. Uh it says he can't stop eating because he misses weight, and he misses weight because he can't stop eating. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> I think that's uh Shredder is that, cat, dude. <laughs> that, I don't know, but that's a movie reference. I want to say it's Austin Powers Gold Member, maybe. Let me know if I'm right, Gans so Let me know if I'm right. Yeah, HB Comer says I'm convinced he did it on purpose. He absolutely needed a win and did everything, including having a weight advantage. Look, when you call Despicable. the day before, that's pretty bad that's pretty indicative that there was i mean you just know you know before you know before the day of you know oh i'm not gonna make weight you knew you knew and shout out to rod for taking the fight massive respect to him uh yeah. i hope the ufc takes care of him for that so, um because and he fought well dude this this was actually a banger fight it was like a four round boxing match it was fun dude it Up was, until it was really good working the takedowns um, uh d rod working in some body shots uh, I thought yeah. it was a really good idea. I mean, this guy's already missing weight, right? Who knows if he even tried to to drop weight or not? But if well, he did, like, yeah, that's always the thing we talk about. It's like we can actually start talking about the fight itself now. Um, you never know when someone misses weight. Um, is this going to be an advantage or is it going to be a disadvantage? Right? Because it's like, was it a hard weight cut that they just couldn't get over the hump on? Because if oh, so, I'm going to punish that butt. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, not just this fight, just in general. Yeah, it's like yeah, if I'm yeah. fighting somebody and they miss weight, if it was a really tough weight cut, I'm going to the body all day. But if all it day. was planned and it was not a big issue and it's just like, yeah, I'm not going to make weight, I'm not going to try, then the body shots aren't going to do as much damage as, as they would have in the other scenario. You know what I mean? Like, and, and you know what? 
at the end he goes through and he's like hey i'm a company man no he's stop like, please saying, do not cut me <laughs> please. stop saying you're a company man <laughs> yeah you're not because if you're truly a company man you would be professional and you would not put your company in this position yeah. this fight d rod had all the right in the world to say i'm not i'm not fighting anymore yeah i'm not taking he probably would have got punished more than gaslin will <laughs> but in the fans at least like i think about it, like in my eyes if i'm d rod i'm like hey completely understand d rod try to pick up the next fight you know yeah come in short notice stay in shape whatever like just be ready to pick up another fight if you're a but, company man don't put your company in this position but stop remember, saying that they they already sent the message they've sent the message about weight cuts that's not really not a big deal anymore um they sent the message on the flip side with wonder boy against michelle Pajeda when he declined the fight after Michelle Pajeda missed weight and they didn't even pay him. And he's like trying to fight for his paycheck for the next like two months. So if you're other fighters, you see that and you're like, well, I got to take the fight. I already spent all this money on camp. Uh, I flew, maybe, maybe I flew people out to the fight because I have to pay for that. I got all these other expenses. You only fight maybe three times a year. I can't not go for a paycheck after I did all that. So you take the fight. It sucks. It does. It does. But it was a banger but, but fight. But the thing is, I and for me, I guess it's frustrating. And look, I don't know everything that's going on in the background, yeah. right? But it it really is pretty simple. Like being able to say, "Hey, we're already planning on paying this money out." D Rod, take your win and show money. Whoa, 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 dude! I know you're it sounds fine. crazy. You're I know it fine. sounds crazy, but it, it, take your win and show money because you did your job. You flew out to Saudi. You're professional, yeah. Calvin. You're cut on the spot. He doesn't get his win. He doesn't get his show money. So already, either way, you're you're probably breaking even there. You're actually coming up positive. True. Yeah, true. Right. You had to pay one of them. And you're sending a message one time. You do this one time, and you're sending a message. You're changing the culture, just like that. True. Yeah. So on the post fight press conference, you're Dana White. Well, you know this is unacceptable. This is to, yeah. You allowed it. Yeah. You're allowed allowing it, it, and we'll see what happens moving forward. Because you've already you, the punishment has already been you can't fight at 170 anymore, and he got back into good graces, I guess, and they let him back. But how long did they let Cynthia Calvillo fight? I think she's still fighting, dude. I thought she was cut. Was she brought back? I think she got brought back. Oh my god! And after how many weight misses? I don't know. Now Calvin Gastelum, like this is happening over and over again. Yeah. Don't say one thing, but then act a different way. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to walk the walk. Exactly. Exactly. Well, it's tough hey. for Dana though. A lot of punches and bunches from D-Rod this fight. Yeah, I absolutely awesome, love that. Dude. dude uh, I love the, the way he makes in the body shots. Very, very good, man. Going you know, and for, again, it's frustrating that his performance is being taken away from from all the other noise around it, right? And then yeah. the, the thing that sucked too at the end, those takedowns, and you even heard D-Rod say, you feel heavy. <laughs> yeah, so funny. <laughs> Come on. It's fun. It's fun. Hey, everybody. Romero and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description, and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.